Hey, you want to submit us some new music here at Small Radio? If you're an independent artist or part of an indie band, drop me an email. Richie, R-I-T-C-H-I-E, dot Johnston, J-O-H-N-S-T-O-N, at smallradio.co. Drop us an email with a bio. Let us know a little bit about you, where we can hear your music, where we can catch you live and see you playing. It doesn't matter where in the world you are, because it's all about growing that global audience. So, yeah, here's some more great independent music here on Small Radio, the home of the best new music, independent artists, featured artists from around the world, and great entertainment. So, you know, yeah, stay tuned. Great stuff coming up. This is your Small Radio. If you're looking for custom-made curtains and blinds, Get yourself down to the curtain shop. Visit our showrooms at Kingsway Osset or High Street, Normington. For all your curtains, blinds and upholstery needs, go to the curtain shop. And if you mention Small Radio, you'll qualify for free lining for all custom-made curtains. The Curtain Shop, Kingsway Osset and High Street, Normington. The Curtain Shop. Good evening, it is Friday night, this is your Renegade Rock Hours here on Small Radio with me, I'm Richie J, and just like that, you know, in the case of Thanos' snap, I'm johnny this week, you know, he must have been snapped up by Thanos because he's gone to see the end game. I caught it last night, absolutely spot on, I cannot wait to be able to give a spoilerific review once everybody's seen it, because, you know, I'm following the Russo Brothers commands and, you know, all the Bay Thanos, and just to keep the spoilers loose, but yes, really enjoyed the film. Johnny's off to see that tonight, and, you know, it's the understanding, like, co-host that I am. I was like, Johnny, you know, you, you've got to go see this. This is, like, the film you must see. So, anyway, you've got me this evening for the Renegade Rock Hours, pumping out the tunes for the next couple of hours with a little bit of banter in between. But it's all about the rock tonight, and it is all about the rock tonight. So, if you've got anything you want to drop on us, get in contact. It's at Small Radio Yorkshire on Facebook, at Small Radio 3 on Twitter and Instagram. And uh, yeah, if you fancy your own little rock request, drop them in to me, hit me up on, on Facebook and that, and uh, I'll be sure to be able to get them in. Anyway, we're going to hit up to our first song this evening, one that pops out from Germany. That's right, we're hitting, heading over to Germany to start this evening. Uh, a little bit of unsigned music from Shirley Holmes, and I love the, I love just love the name of the track. It just instantly hit me. I was like, yo, this is going into the playlist this evening. And then I listened to it, and I absolutely fell in love with it. This is Binch, 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 and this is by Shirley Holmes.
Spinach, spinach, spinach. That was by Shirley Holmes. What a great track that was to kick off this Friday evening's Renegade Rock Hour as well. Welcome to the show. It's me, Richie J, here for the next couple of hours. Uh, usually I'm joined by Jonathan Edwards, but tonight he has departed to go check out the uh, Avengers Endgame. He, we are in the Endgame now, and he's gone to check it out this evening. Sorry, you'll have to excuse me. I'm having a few technical difficulties this evening. I'm testing out my new microphone. And it seems that it's a really sensitive microphone. It's one of those, it's super sensitive to every sound that I make. There we go, I'll fix that a little bit. Hopefully that should sort it out. Uh, now don't forget, if you want to get in contact with me this evening, it's Facebook at Small Radio Yorkshire. On Twitter and Instagram, it's at Small Radio 3. Gotta be honest with you though, because I'm running the system on my own, I won't be able to answer on Twitter as much as I will be able on Facebook because I get the notifications ping straight to me. Uh, so yeah, uh, I was chatting to the guys today when we were sort of, sort of sorting out the show and getting a playlist together and everything like that. and. I said to the guys, now Avengers is over, or for now, because it's all going to be independent little Marvel films in the meantime and that. I said the only real big ending that we're looking forward to with the rest of this year now is Star Wars. I mean, it's obviously Game of Thrones, but yeah, we don't bother that. But yeah, Star Wars, the big saga comes to an end in December. And yeah, this is a show about rock, but it's also a show about being a nerd, so here we go. Um, so yeah, I, I said to the guys, uh, growing up on Star Wars, I was an absolute Star Wars addict, but since the last couple of films... I've been a little bit shaken because I wasn't a big fan of the prequel trilogy. I was a big fan of the original trilogy. Um, but, you know, with the new trilogy, I love what J.J. Abrahams did. And it kind of broke my heart a little bit with Last Jedi. Because it feels like we don't get to see Luke Skywalker as full potential. And he's kind of like a dry, dried up old man. And I get that that's what war can do to you. It takes its toll on you and that. And, yeah, I'm totally down with that. But at the same time, I still wanted to see Luke kick a little bit more ass non-holographically you know what I mean um but yeah with this being the final of the Skywalker saga I said to the guys I don't feel the same about it as I do with Avengers of Avengers my heart was like boom 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 all the way through the film my jaw was dropped to the floor I didn't actually it was the first time in forever that I haven't actually moved and um yeah uh, my missus had to come check my pulse because she thought I might have been dead you know but yeah no, I just enjoyed Avengers that much it was that fun it was a phenomenal film so I implore you go see it don't let anybody ruin it for you Go see it for yourself, it is one of those. But yeah, Star Wars, not so much excited for that, but I am still excited a little bit. I love the characters and the development of the characters. It's just there's elements of the story that I've, I feel that are missing from these new trilogies. And that. I just don't know, I don't know. What are your thoughts, nerdlings? Get in contact with me at Small Radio Yorkshire, let me know. Uh, other things this evening, I was just uh, having a cigarette earlier, I was looking on the back of my tobacco packet, and there's a kid and it looks like Vladimir Putin holding a cigarette. And... <laughs> and that you're all the wrong jakes sort of pass through your head and it's like you know wow doesn't that kid look cool and uh yeah i said that to daddy as a jake she just raises a brow at me and yeah 2018 much i don't know anyway <laughs> let's have some more new music this evening here on the renegade rock hours on small radio it is all about the rock the next song on my list is one of my favorites here this is uh 20 watt tombstone and it's a song called your man's a jerk it pretty much sums me up because i am a jerk so yeah get in contact with me this evening and let me know what you want to hear rock wise this is the renegade rock hours on small radio
That one there was the fabulous Mousewater. And When the Sun is Gone from the single When the Sun is Gone. More great music coming up tonight on the Renegade Rock Hours here at Small Radio. Uh, had a really great day today. I managed to catch up with uh, my cohort at Small, Richard Harrison. And we went to visit my little boy's school today because... You know, I, I sort of visit Facebook quite... I'm a frequent user of Facebook, I would say. Pretty much like 99% of the world these days, unfortunately. Uh, and at Christmas, the school did a little production where they had nursery kids do uh, the nativity. Now, I wasn't thinking nursery kids at the time. Uh, but I noticed... I was. I was watching JK that, obviously. But I noticed that they had a really decent PA equipment and everything else in that just set up. And it just wasn't actually utilising it to its fullest potential. So... I got thinking a little bit and you know I'm sick of going on Facebook and seeing complaints about what kids in the area are doing and that and to me it's because there's no outlets anymore like when I was a kid we used to go uh, roller sl- I mean I lived in a different area I mean I live in Potter Fred now but I was born in um, Norfolk and yeah on a Friday night I used to be out and about with my mates and I did used to get into a little bit of mischief our town didn't really have a lot of outlets there was arcades and there was roller skating rinks and we could do that on a Friday I'd go roller skating for a little bit and then I hit 16 and I noticed girls I mean I noticed girls at 13 but you know let's not tell anybody about that but yeah. Um, but yeah, um, on, a, on, a, on those nights we'd go out and yeah, we'd get into a little bit of trouble. We'd try and sneak into the offie and get a couple of uh, cheap cans and that's the little lad in front of your mates. And that little bit, I've got me can of Stella tonight and that, you know. So yeah, it does happen that kids get mischief. But um, as an adult now and as a parent, I'm kind of like, well, you know, perhaps if we gave them the opportunity to sort of have an outlet and sort of say how they feel a little bit more, you know. It's a chance to sort of make a difference in life and you know with government cuts left right and centre there's not the curriculum just keeps getting cut so anyway to cut a long story short uh, me and rich went down to uh, jake's school and we had a chat with the headmaster and hopefully fingers crossed as of the uh, next school year we're gonna have a little small radio studio set up at st joel's in uh, pontefract where we'll be getting the kids involved in an afternoon and doing their own little radio show and sort of you know giving them a chance to sort of express themselves and do something different and learn how to operate a radio station to a degree so you know it gives them a little bit more of a skill that's an output in life because there's a lot of video bloggers and everything else like that out there so yeah really excited about that so when i got home you know <laughs> being the 36 year old big kid that i am with fibromyalgia i'm all excited to burn off all my energy and by five o'clock i'm asleep on the couch for about two hours so now i'm awake wide awake to rock out till midnight here with you on the renegade rock hours now uh, i've got to give a big shout out to these listening i've got to give a big shout out to my main man the manager am he's listening from on his night out tonight it's his birthday weekend you know so uh, yeah he was briefly with us a little while last night but yeah he's out this weekend for his 22nd birthday which was earlier in the week gonna get absolutely murdered hopefully we've got the dark fusion 49 on camera point and he will be sort of uploading some of this shady stuff to uh you know to our facebook page and such now also i've got to drop a mention to our product range and stuff we've just released our own uh t-shirt range that i've actually hand drawn with i hand drew the designs myself you know i didn't actually trust them to somebody else so i took the time not to do the designs myself i'm not saying that so it's like buy one but you know it's just because of how passionate i am about smile radio and the studio and doing the shows with the guys i just want to make them a little bit better so this week i decided that's it so i designed the whole little i've designed six times to start with we're gonna we're gonna increase it as it goes but the game boys of small radio have now got their own little t-shirt and key ring and mug range so yeah you know every little purchase goes towards making the show a little bit better investing in the equipment to hopefully improve because at the moment we're in year one of small radio it's been a hectic year but we're getting there and it's been absolutely it's what a ride it's been i've been to festivals i've met bands I've heard bands, I've, I've like been backstage in that, and never in my lifetime did I think that this would be the angle that I went in. I've got to be honest with you, when I was like 10, I wanted to be an astronaut. When I was 25, I turned to screenplay writing, and I did, I did alright with that. I've got a couple of screenplays out there, and, that, and here I am now, at 36, running a radio station. It's just funny, the little twists and turns that life takes you. But I've got to say, I do love it here, doing the radio bit. And uh, yeah, it's doing it for you guys, and the bands that we play on the show, and that, that just makes it all that more worth the while. And I absolutely love it, I really do. So yeah, without further ado, I've been there jibber jabbering for a little while, and you got me for a little while this evening anyway. So uh, yeah, let's have a bit more brand new music. And this is Alice in the Sea uh, from the EP Sentimi. This is Sono Ero Saro. I hope I pronounced that right, but yeah, rock it out now. It's the Renegade Rock Hours. This is Small Radio, party on dudes and dudettes. Let's go. 
Who says that, you know, we haven't got a great, like, flavour of selection here at Small Radio. A little bit of something different from all over the world, because that's what it's all about here at Small Radio, you know. Anyway, welcome back to the Renegade Rock Hours with me, Richie J, here till midnight now, rocking it out on Round the Clock. And if you do miss the show, you can catch it again on demand. We're available on Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, and all great podcasting sites. Now, got to give a big shout out to all the shows that have been on today. If you've missed them, catch them again now. Beth Williams, she was on at two o'clock with her indie singer-songwriter show. She's great, absolutely fantastic. Country, acoustic, folk, Americana, great deep roots American, American. American music, and uh, I, I can't, I can't seem to say American tonight. I'm having a moment, you know. It's one of days. It's because it's Friday night, isn't it? But yeah. Uh, and then at four o'clock, you got Rich and a little bit of Chris, like driving you in for drive time here in the UK. You know, I mean, I don't know what time if you're catching it all over the world because we got listeners all over. So yeah, whatever. You could be waking up to Rich and Chris. You could be going to bed with Rich and Chris. Not literally going to bed. I mean, though, from what I've heard, though, at the moment they're actually open for offers because they were moaning about. The profile picture today i got a message from chris can you make me not look like quasimodo so next week next week chris i've got something special lined up for you buddy that's, that's all i'm gonna say wink wink nudge nudge then at 6 p.m head over to tennessee with the colonel bacchus radio show our main man from tennessee he brings that little flare of crazy to small radio that magical crazy flair that makes you smile then at nine you got the codfather who was on just before us with his alternative jukebox his alternative jukebox to get it refused uh, he was here from 9 with the punk rock scene, and again, you can catch all of them now. They're available on demand on Spotify, on iTunes, whatever your preferred listening device or system or software. Check it out. Check out a great small radio show. We've got a massive catalogue of shows now. Over 200 shows on Small Radio's Podbean, Spotify, and on our website. Head over there. Now, don't forget as well, we are the home of the best independent rock alternative pop and I think I've just said alternative, but yeah. We're the home of just the best new music from independent artists around the world, basically. And this year, we want to celebrate that fact. I mean, it's not just this year. It is going to be going forward. But basically, we have a featured artist slot on our website. So head on over there, www.smallradio.co. Check out some of the fantastic featured artists we've had on the website over the last few months. Now, indie bands and indie artists, if it's something that you want to do, get in contact with me, Richie, R-I-T-C-H-I-E, dot Johnston, J-O-H-N-S-T-O-N at smallradio.co. Send me your bio, send me your gig info, send me your social media links. It doesn't cost you anything. I've got to totally reiterate that because for some reason I keep getting emails where the bands are a little bit reluctant because they keep asking me, is it a pay-to-play service? Now, I've got to reassure you here at Small Radio, we do not charge the artists a penny to play their music. We pay PPL and PRS, and we want to celebrate you fantastic artists out there without, you know, having, we need the effort that goes into the music and the time and the money that already goes into it. The last thing you want to be doing is pumping more money into promoting it when you know there's outlets like us as well as mainly us that play your music for free so yeah drop me an email let me know all about you and uh, yeah get your tunes played here on smile radio and you know on one of the great shows or on one of the great playlists that we have we have the independent playlist on throughout the day we also have the featured artist playlist on throughout the day where you know you can find out all about these great featured artists you know i've, I've been putting information in left right and center because you know it's about celebrating the hard work that goes into indie music because there is a lot of it and you know it's a hard process to get anywhere in life but i know this from obviously like working in screenplays and i've even directed and produced and honestly i I was asked the other day how are you really happy working as far as like yes i am i said don't worry about me i might seem stressy from time to time but that's me i thrive on i laugh at the face of danger and thrive on the thrill of stress it's just if you don't stress about it, it's always just going to be still. If you stress about it, you'll always aim for perfection. That's how I kind of look at things anyway. Uh, right, on that note, it is that time of the show. We've got to go over to a word from some of our sponsors. Now, this is the Curtain Shop over in Osset. Give them a, give them a follow. 
give them a view, and uh, yeah, get your curtains and blinds and upholstery sorted out with them. And if you get involved with Smile Radio, well, just listen to the ad yourself and you'll see. If you're looking for custom made curtains and blinds, get yourself down to the curtain shop. Visit our showrooms at Kingsway Osset or High Street, Normington. For all your curtains, blinds and upholstery needs, go to the curtain shop. And if you mention Smile Radio, you'll qualify for free lining for all custom made curtains. The Curtain Shop, Kingsway Osset and High Street, Normington. The Curtain Shop. Come on down and get your Monday night fix of topical banter, unscripted chat, a little bit of comedy because it always goes wrong. It's the Nathan Down Show here on Small Radio. Check him out, 9pm on a Monday night. And if you miss your show, you can always catch him again on demand. www.smallradio.co forward slash on demand. Or alternatively, for you smart people out there, get yourself on the Spotify app, iTunes, Google Play and all good podcasting sites. Right, yeah, check out Nathan Downs. He's here on a Monday night, 9pm. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I break your concentration? College Grove Nursery in Wakefield has been providing the highest standard of childcare for over 22 years. Situated on Eastmoor Road, we are close to the M1 and M62 motorway network and also convenient for Wakefield City Centre, schools and major places of employment. For more details, check out our website at www.collegegovenursery.co.uk or give us a call on 01924 200 120 to arrange a visit. College Grove, a special nursery which takes a hand, opens a mind and touches a heart. Hey, this is Michael from The Finite Beings, and you can catch our single, Spirit Driven, right here on Smile Radio, or at thefinitebeings.com. In your face, all over the place. We're online, 24-7, 24-7. You're listening to the hottest the internet station. The Fire The home of the best new music world, best entertainment, best show, and a good time. Yes, welcome back. It's the Renegade Rock Hours here on Smile Radio. And we're going to go to another song right now. And this next one on the list is Ode to the Corrupt. And it is by Red Helen. Get ready to rock out. It's Friday night. I'm Richie J. And this is your Renegade Rock Hours with the Game Boys. Or the Game Boy of Smile Radio. Let's go! 
Next up on the list this evening, we've got Wearing Thin, and this is by Horizons. This is Small Radio to Renegade Rock Hours this Friday night. Wearing Thin 
and it was by Horizons. Welcome back, it's the Renegade Rock Hours here this Friday night on Smile Radio, bringing you the best undiscovered rock music from around the world. And tonight it's me, Richie J. Hopefully I might be joined by the Lost Huntsman, Jonathan Edwards. He is a bit lost at the moment. Uh, he got lost in Thanos' snap. He's just been to see the end game, and he just dropped me a message to let me know he's got out of the cinema, and he was like, that was amazing. I said, I told you, I told you. I loved it, and he's loved it. And, and it's one of those films that you got to see it for yourself. So, yeah, no uh, spoilerific review just yet. Until I know that everybody's comfortable enough to talk about. Comfortable enough to talk about. It's one of those films that you need a support group to just sit there and talk about it. like Because you still don't know what to kind of make of it. it you know what I mean? It's, it's a mind bender, but I absolutely loved it. Now, let us know where you're smiling in from. Drop me a message at Small Radio Yorkshire on Facebook, at Small Radio 3 on Twitter and Instagram. I am here till around about midnight this evening. So yeah, you'll be able to catch me until the early hours of uh, Saturday morning. Yay for you. Uh, maybe, I don't know. But yeah, if you missed the show, catch us again on demand. We're available on Podbean, Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, and all good podcasting sites. Now, we've got a little bit of the Chili Peppers in the background because we had a little bit of hard music just there. A couple of, a couple of really hard rock tracks there. Grab your By The Balls tracks, but yeah. Uh, I figured I'll have a little something chilled while we have this little bit of an interlude here, and you can listen to me jibber jabber for a little bit. Now, if you do have a rock request that you'd like to make, if you've got an all time favourite rock song you'd like to hear this evening, anything from Fallout Boy to the Rolling Stones, whatever it is, we're all renegade. It's all about the Rebel Rock. Hell, we'll throw some David Bowie in the mix if that's what you want, as well as the under independent unsigned artists that we're playing. Again, drop us a message at Small Radio Yorkshire. Now, don't forget, there are plenty of live gigs going on in the area at the moment. We're inundated with it. Uh, like, a lot of our independent artists are actually doing the tour circuit at the moment, visiting pubs, clubs venues arenas around the uk go and check an independent artist out find one that you might love and you can check them out here on smart radio our featured artist section www.smartradio.co uh, it's all about the music here at smart radio and obviously the great entertainment and uh, unscripted banner which is what i'm all about is unscripted it's, it's one of these that if i work from a script i can never remember what i'm saying i'm sitting there like reading it for like two minutes and i go to it get three words in and i forgot what i said because because uh, of the fibro i get fibro fuck really badly when it comes to remembering stuff, and it's really bad because I used to have like such a sterling memory. My memory, I could pride myself on, I had a photographic memory. It's like today, just randomly out of the blue, I'm tied to something, I'm chuckling my throat, I've got something stuck in the back of my throat. Oi oi. Um, but yeah, no, uh, today I was tidying the living room up and I had Jake with me, and just randomly out of the blue, out of my head. I don't know, like for those of you that are listening, if you're old enough to remember this, but the Batman randomly popped into my head and I could just recite the lyrics just off the top of my head like that and I did to Jake and he just looked at me to say dude seriously what are you doing and it's like all right fine 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 you, you love the Simpsons but I remember the Simpsons from the beginning boy I was there from the start you're just you're just a dropper on her you know it's one of those uh so yeah we might be joined by the Lost Huntsman very shortly here on the Renegade Rock Hours he's, he's dropping a message he's on his way home now uh hopefully he is not breaking speed limits and stuff to get back home you know it's all about driving safe and hopefully he is actually tuned into the show on the way home so we can sort of see how things are going because if he's not I swear I'm gonna wring his neck I tell you um <laughs> Again, if you want to shout out this evening, drop me a message at Smart Radio Yorkshire. Anyway, let's have some more music this evening. Oh, I've lost myself. Uh, we're going to have some Bad Mary, and this is Space Girl. You're listening to Richie J, the Renegade Rock Hours with the Game Boys. This is Small Radio.
There we go, that was a little bit of Unveil and Empty before that was The Point and Fading Away and kicking off the triple play there was Bad Mary and Space... <laughs> I'm really having a fake power with my words this evening, I can't get them together. But yeah, that was Bad Mary and Space Girl. You're listening to the Renegade Rock Hours, it is Small Radio, it's Friday night and we're partying hard here. In hour two, I should be joined by the Lost Huntsman himself, it seems like the snap has been undone and he's, he's here and he's about or he will be he's not quite here yet he's like uh, like fast and furious and at home to get to the show and you know he will be here an hour too but you know what in the meantime it's time for a word from some of those small radio sponsors so yeah don't forget to check them out and don't forget to check out some of the great shows so you know <laughs> check out a small radio show a day keeps uh it doesn't keep the doctor away but you know it i don't know it probably obviously does like something you know but yeah anyway if we go over to a word for our sponsors Independent artist, are you part of the band? Would you like a free 30 second airtime promo? Well, hit us up here at Small Radio. Get in touch. Richie.Johnston, R I T C H I E, dot G O H N S T O N, at smallradio.co. Record a promo, mention Small Radio, and the airtime is yours, free of charge. Now hit us up, drop your promo, and now back to the music. If you're looking for custom-made curtains and blinds, get yourself down to the curtain shop. Visit our showrooms at Kingsway Osset or High Street, Normington. For all your curtains, blinds and upholstery needs, go to the curtain shop. And if you mention Small Radio, you'll qualify for free lining for all custom-made curtains. The Curtain Shop, Kingsway Osset and High Street, Normington. The Curtain Shop. And of course, the show wouldn't be complete without, uh, you know, shameless plug-in for ourselves. Holy cool gamers, come on down Thursday nights. It's the Game Boys here on Small Radio from 9 p.m. Bringing the mix of talk about TV and film, gaming, and of course, a great selection of undiscovered, unsigned, independent music from the featured artists here at Small Radio. It's every Thursday night. It's the Game Boys from 9 p.m. And don't forget, if you miss the show, you can always catch it again on demand. It's available on Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, and all great podcasting sites. Check us out at Small Radio Yorkshire. Now back to some more great music here on Small Radio. The other stations are still playing commercials. Meanwhile, here's another hit. Smile Radio. That's right, here we go back in the rock and roll studio this evening. It is the Renegade Rock Hours here at Small Radio. It's already to be joined by the Lost Huntsman, Jonathan Edwards. It's coming up to 11 o'clock, so let's party a little bit harder. Next up on the list is Degenerate. Suits this show quite adequately. And this is by Hidden Scars. Rock and roll, baby. It is the Game Boys present the Renegade Rock Hours here every Friday on Small Radio.
That one there was Degenerate, and that was by uh, Hidden Scars. Welcome back, it's the Renegade Rock Hours, and for the second hour of the show, here he is. It's Jonathan Edwards, the Lost Huntsman. How are you doing, Johnny? I'm good, man. I give all the others stick for missing a show, so I can't miss one. <laughs> well, that was it. It was really funny, because it was only like last week that Rhino was like... <laughs> You know what, yeah, he's going to miss the show one day and I'll be there to tell him about it. <laughs> and then, there we go, we nearly did it. But, to be fair, there was allowances for it because, you know, it's Infinity War and... It, it's Infinity War, not Infinity War, it's Endgame, man. You know, if there's got to be an allowance for anything, it has got to be for Endgame, I'm afraid. So, you know, you know there's, oh, there's got to be definitely. an allowance for it. So, did you enjoy it? Without spoiling it, did you enjoy it? I'd give it a strong... Eight? Eight? Oh my god, Johnny, you're so hard to please. For me, it was like 11 out of 10. You know, I, I want to sit, I'm going to sit through that film again and again and again. I've got plans to watch it with Jake this weekend. Like, we're going to go to the cinema, we're going to go watch it again, we're going to experience it in its full glory and just be like gobsmacked again. Like, by the time the film had finished, I, I, like, I got home and I couldn't even sleep. I was that wide. You know what I watched in the end? I ended up watching uh, the Gotham season finale. Very nice. Yeah, you'd think so, but I was, to be honest, I was really disappointed with how it played out, if I'm honest with you. It was, it was... It had a lot to live up to, though, considering you'd just seen that. Yeah, <laughs> well, there is that, but to me, it was like, <laughs> how they promoted it was that we was going to have a show where we saw, like, predominantly Batman, and it's Batman's beginning journey, but it's not, it's it's still about, it's very much, because it was Gordon's show, let's face it, but without spoiling it, you know, there's no Batman really. It's, it's just a, a, a blink and you'll miss it, and that's it. And they did that with Smallville. They wouldn't ever let him wear the costume. And in the final episode, he gets to run and burst his chest open, and you see the S. And uh, yeah, that was it. And that, even then, that was a CGI S. So it's really, it really sucks the rules that Warner Brothers have with their TV shows. And I think it was something we were talking about last night, wasn't it? When we said about DC yeah. and Warner Brothers just getting involved in that, you know? And it's a, it's a real shame. Anyway. Renegade Rock Fridays, we've been rocking out for the last hour without you, Johnny. You know, like, probably the listeners are going to drop now, you know. I'm but sorry. I'm not going to let you live it down, but I'm glad you had a good time and enjoyed the movie. I'm glad you had a good time and enjoyed the movie, Johnny. So, yeah. Uh, right. Oh, I did. <laughs> right, we've got some new music coming up this evening uh, from Catfish and the Bowl Men. Have you heard of these guys before? Mate, you're talking to me. Of course, I have. I oh, you know, but I have to run it by you. Sometimes. Long shot, you know. But they've released. Uh, they've released a new uh, one. What today. else? Uh, they've released conversation, which is the next one on the list this evening for the Renegade Rock Hours. Um, so yeah, we're going to play that. Uh, and then after that, we're going to do a couple of back-to-back -back songs just while we get sorted out. It's all about the scars tonight, because before the song that we that we're listening to at the moment, we had hidden scars and degenerate. And then after Catfish and the Bottom Bottleman, we've got Demon Scar and Americoma. Uh, we're going to do them back to back uh, before we come back in that. But yeah, it's all about the scars tonight, mate, I tell you. And uh, yeah. Scar out! Don't you feel like, though, now you've seen Endgame, that you feel that you need to join a support group just to be able to talk about it and just like deal, with your, deal with your feelings <laughs> and emotions about it? You know, I, I, I said to the listeners earlier, I was like, you know what, I need a support group. We need to just sit around and, in a circle and just sort, sort of say how we feel about it because I still don't know how to process it. Mind bending as hell. I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> I know, I know. But anyway, back to the music. This is some conversation, like what we're just having, and this is by Catfish and the Bottle Men. Rocking out with Richie and Johnny. It's your Renegade Rock Hours. This is Smile Radio.
can look for complications all of your life. But you ain't gonna find, ain't gonna find much better than this. Find a perfect conversation. Maricoma there by uh, Demon Scar. Before that, Catfish in the Bottom End with their newest song, Conversation. You're listening to the Renegade Rock Hours. I'm Richie J, and I'm also joined by my main amigo, the one, the only, Jonathan Edwards. You know it, good sir. Now, Jonathan's dedicated to the cause. He's obviously just jumped on the Xbox right now. Are you streaming this evening, or have you decided not to stream? Did you? Did you you're not streaming. This I evening? am about to set it up. Oh, look at him. Look at that dedication. It's like quarter past 11 at night, and he's like, you know what, bud? I'm going to stream tonight. And he, you know it. So give him a follow on Mixer. He's Lost Huntsman. He's playing a little bit of Star Wars Battlefront. I'm really envious of that because I could do with the game right now. You know, it's been a long old day. I felt. Like, well, yeah. you know, after the show. <laughs> you know, after I got off the Xbox party to you guys this afternoon, and how giddy I was about like having that meeting and everything. Um, I did the typical like 36 year old man child thing, laid on the couch and dozed off for like uh, three hours. So <laughs> <laughs> it was like eight o'clock, and I'm like, ooh, ooh. oh, f word. I've got I've got a show in like two hours and that. You know, so I get sorted out like Ozzy Osbourne and and, and his like old age that's the thing though i kind of feel like i can relate to ozzy osbourne at 36 like not young ozzy but current is ozzy. that a good thing it's not a good thing because i forget stuff all the time and it's always a case of daddy 
and you forgot something. <laughs> you know, turn the TV on. You know, stuff like that. But yeah, no, I'm, I feel like I'm getting to the point where I'm kind of a bit Aussie-ish these days. But you know, I'll, I'll take it on the chin. You know, it's, I'll, I'll just be the cool, eccentric, forgetful guy. I'll, I'll live with that. You know, but uh, yeah, uh, I, I mentioned earlier in the show as well about that great merchandise that we've designed ourselves that you can now actually oh, purchase via yes. the website. Very exciting stuff. We've got some more merchandise in the works as well because uh, I've been chatting with everybody else. I had a chat with us when I was chatting to the school today. One of the ideas we sort of proposed to them was like, why don't we get the kids to design their own merchandise as well? You know, it's a fundraiser for everybody. Um, it's a great opportunity. So. It is a re honestly, I'm, I'm proper buzzing myself off of the meeting. I mean, I was buzzing yeah, enough off of, um, off, of seeing the, off, off of seeing Avengers last night, and then I went into that meeting, and I was just like buzzing my nuts off from that sort of thing. Cause you know what I was like yesterday? I was proper stressed out. I was just, uh, yeah, I couldn't process anything properly in that, and uh, yeah, it was a little bit... To be fair, you did spend a lot of the day with us it tends to stress people out yeah it's just, it's just talking to you guys i think in general it's it's, it's it's not it's not just you it's basically ryan to be fair that no, ryan's not that bad he's off at the white he's off to the white hall gym tonight and he? he's, he's doing that so they're coming on and doing a show with us is he yeah he was because it's jams it's day one of jams 22nd birthday party week oh yeah, yeah it's yeah. guzzle guzzle isn't it uh, yeah <laughs> guzzle 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 fest 2019 in norwich yeah <laughs> uh, so if you're out and about and you're listening in norwich go look out for this little ginger that looks like uh, tom holland and uh, give him a pat on the back and say happy 22nd birthday uh, i think he's hitting the waterfront in norwich tonight isn't he uh, I think that's what they said, yeah. Yeah, right, this is where the NSFW bit comes in. Now, if you're listening in and you're in Norwich and you're in the waterfront tonight and you see a Tom Holland looking little ginger, go get a permanent marker and draw a penis on the back of his neck and then say, when I say penis, you say Parker. He'll absolutely love it. So, you know, you know, so yeah. <laughs> He'll love it. Yeah, waterfront, Norwich, jam, James Harrington. This is 20 seconds, so yeah, hit him up and find him and that, but yeah. Uh, we've got some great more music coming up very, very shortly. We're rocking and rolling now until midnight with Johnny. He's on Star Wars Battlefront. Give him a watch. You can also listen to us having a chat on in the background as well on there. Because, yeah, we do talk in the background of the show. We're not just, like, ignorant to each other. Spoilers that. alert, though. Oh, well, I don't know. Now we're on the stream, we kind of can't really spoil <laughs> it. Because it's, it's one of those that I feel really bad talking about it in, like, a live stream. I mean, I know we don't get that many viewers on that. But people do tend to watch back. And I'm kind of like, ah, if I spoil it for somebody. And they, then they take a contract. Yeah, out Yeah, true. It's not really worth the hassle. But I guess we'll have to be nice. Yeah, we'll be nice. We'll, we'll keep it. We'll keep it spoilerish free. But you know, joining the lads banter. Did this a pod mixer. It's Lost Huntsman, Stone Cold Stanian, and Stoned Four TV. Long story behind that, but that is actually me as well. Two profiles. It's just, it's just handy. Two for two, yeah, two profiles, one cup, isn't it? Been having problems with uh, talking this evening as well, Johnny. Uh, I just keep slipping over words all night. So <laughs> it's been really, an, it's been an event for What's evening. new? I'm actually glad that you came back to us this evening because, uh, yeah, otherwise I'd have had to have listened to me slipping over myself for the next few hours on that. And, uh, yeah, can't say that's going to be pretty, you know. I'm but, offended yeah. you thought I'd let you down. Well, I didn't think you'd let me down. I mean, let's face it, I'm Tony Stark and you are uh, Steve Rogers and that. So, you know, we've got, you know, well, actually, you know, we, don't, we don't fall out. I'm, I'm more Hulk. I've got to admit, I am more Hulk. I'm, now, now I'm going into teaching kids at school. I'm, I'm a professor, so yeah, it's, it's kind of Hulk. I said I'm going to live up to it, Professor Johnston. Does that mean I'm Thor then? You could be Thor if you want. I mean, you know, if you want to be. But yeah, I mean, Thor's a cool guy. I love Thor, honestly. <laughs> I love Thor. It, like without, I mean, in, without spoilerific in the film, who is your favourite character? Because there's so many characters in that film to pick from. Did you have one particular favourite? Oh. <laughs> He'll have to be the Hulk. Yeah, he, he was definitely mine. Uh, it's Hulk <laughs> and Thor. Since Thor Ragnarok, um, it's just it's just one of those. I, I, I like the dynamic between them two, but now because they found the ground to make Thor funny and Hulk funny, and as well as like what they are as comic book heroes and that, it's just it's a beautiful it's a beautiful mix. And yeah, I could watch more of it. And I absolutely let's be love honest. It. Who doesn't like a good Aussie? I know, I know. Anyway, let's have some more new music this Friday night here on the Renegade Rock Hours because we're rocking and rolling all night just like Kiss is telling us to. Uh, this one is Bring Me Down and this is by Four Trips Ahead. You're listening to Richie and Johnny. This is the Renegade Rock Hours on SMO Radio.
Welcome back, it's your Renegade Rock Hours here on Small Radio. Got a little bit of We Will Rock You in the background there, because we like to play our classic rock, as well as our new rock, as well as our independent rock in the background. And I'm joined by Jonathan Edwards this evening, my co-pilot, my Chewbacca. How are we doing? Playing a little bit of Star Wars Battlefront on Kashyyyk? Yeah, boy! Now, for you Star well, I Wars... I believe it's Kashyyyk. Well, <laughs> it's a 50-50. It could be Endor, it could be Kashyyyk. There's two bushy planets in Star Wars, isn't there? Same as a lot of desert planets, there's a couple of, like, bushy planets as well. Um, but, yeah, um, talk to me a little bit about the new map. What, how are you finding it for the Star Wars Battlefront fans out there? Uh, it... I haven't really played enough of it to have a decision on it yet. Ah, oh, there we go. He's looking at him. He's gonna, he's gonna probably be playing it for a little while now this evening. If you want to join in, though, you jump on Star Wars Battlefront Two. Find Lost Huntsman on Xbox. You know, you drop him a message on Mixer. Let him know that you're uh, watching, and you know, don't, don't just stay there like a stalker and heavy breathe and watch, watch on the mic. You know, get in a conversation with him. You know, you want to. Anyway. Don't cut it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there we go, there we go, don't cover it, there we go, yeah. Uh, so, over the weekend, uh, I'm looking at, I'm looking forward to the uh, long weekend off, to be fair, I'm going to have a nice, enjoyable weekend. Got some work to do on the website here at Smart Radio, for the featured artist section, and for the up-and-coming Game Boys blog, I think the first review that will probably even drop on there will be Avengers Endgame, now that two of us have actually seen it. Ooh, uh, it's just down, yeah. the other two need to obviously go see it as well in the meantime. Um, but yeah, well, they're supposed to be going this weekend, aren't they? Yeah, but one of them hasn't even Together. seen. One of them hasn't even seen Infinity wow, War yet. Wow, wow. <laughs> it's like you can't go see Endgame without seeing Infinity War. So you best you best get his act together and go see Infinity War first, isn't it? You know. But I, I really want to do them back to back. I want to watch Infinity War. It's jam, he never gets game. his act together. <laughs> There is that side to it. There is. All right, morning music now. Next up on the list is Black Satellite, my girlfriend's girlfriend, on the Renegade Rock Hours here with Small Radio.
Welcome back, it's Friday night here at Small Radio with the Renegade Rock Hours with myself and Jonathan Edwards. He's busy getting beaten down on Star Wars Battlefront. Go check him out on Mixer. <laughs> He's doing so well as Darth Maul, what happened, man? I, I just noticed that it just sort of all went downhill all of a sudden, you know, you're like whooping some ass and then all of a sudden <laughs> you've got your ass whooped, so yeah. I never use the Jedis, I don't know how to do it. Uh, it's, yeah, they're kind of... And Seth. I, I like, uh, I prefer to use Darth, because at least I know he's got that choke ability. It's all about the choke, mate. If you can choke him out, you can stroke him out, I guess, would be the follow-up to that, if it rhymed or something. I don't know. It's probably wrong to say it that way anyway, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's the really definitely sounds hours. it. Yeah, it definitely does, doesn't it? We'll, we'll, we'll probably edit. We won't edit that out, but, you know, if we did bother to edit our shows, that would probably be the bit that uh, get edited out. Um, I'm sure there's probably going to be worse bits. Yeah, probably. Uh, yeah, no doubt. In fact, it was really clean in the first hour. It's just when you join, it's just the quality slips, isn't it? You know, it's you. You're the you're the aura of badness, but it's cool because we're renegades, so that's what it's all about, isn't it? You know. So yeah. Uh, yeah, boy. Now, I'm logged into my mixer. I'm co-hosting uh, on two streams at the moment. I'm looking at my levels. It's ridiculous. I'm level 15 on one and level 61 on the other, and it's like, hang on a sec. Um, I level up in life now as well. How does this work? You know, I'm, I'm not quite used to Mixer or anything, so yeah, you'll have to bear with me on it, but hey. Um, this weekend, Johnny, what have you got planned? You got any big plans? Uh, work. Exciting buggy. Sadly. Yeah. Well, you know, it's, it's... I had an exciting Friday. Well, that's it. You know, I'll get more lucky than that. You're not even going to get lucky the weekend, no? Not, not, no, no plans to get, get lucky this weekend. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you don't pull it off the car. Probably not now. Yeah, well, no, it's just got out the window, isn't it? You know, but hey, <laughs> if I can't cock block you, mate, what, what can I do? You know, it's, just, it's the way that life goes, but yeah. Anyway, um, coming up after us tonight, don't forget you can get some more Renegade Rock into the late hours. It's the weekend here at Smile Radio, and you can listen to the music as it's supposed to be heard, uncensored, unfiltered, and uh, yeah, uncut, just like us because it's the late night lineup. Now don't forget if you've missed any of the shows, catch them again on demand at smallradio.k forward slash on demand or uh, small, uh, Spotify, iTunes, Google Play and great, all great podcasting sites. I'm really sorry, I was watching your screen for a minute, Johnny, and you was General Green and <laughs> just suddenly changed to another character and it threw me off. I was like, hang on a minute, he was playing as a different character in a sec. I'm just tripping. I'm just tripping. It's late Friday night. You know, you know what I mean? It's one of those, but yeah. All right, shall we have some more music in the mix this evening for the Renegade Rock, do you reckon? Yeah, boy! Yeah, well, it's coming up to summer. Well, we've already had our summer. We had a week of sunshine last week, and now it's going to be uh, perpetual rain until uh, September when it gets even colder again. But this next song hopefully brings some sunshine. No, my luck. Well, that's it, isn't it? You know. This is Tough on Fridays. It is explicit, and it is summer.
Come back, it's the Renegade Rock Hours. You're listening to a bit of the Stairway to Heaven in the background there. You know, it's an eight minute song, so I figured I'd come in because I didn't want to, like, you know, it's, it's horrible to talk over Stairway, but at the same time, it's eight minutes. So, yeah, I'm back with Jonathan Edwards. How you doing, Johnny? I'm good, man. 
yeah, you sound it. You're looking really good on Star Wars. I mean, I've got to say, you put my profile to shame this evening. I look like absolute dross when I play that <laughs> game. And now, yeah, I'm, the only thing I'm really good at is like star piloting and that. Uh, while we was away and we was in our little interlude, we was actually talking about something new for the Game Boy show that we might be interested in doing it each week. Uh, and I'm thinking it might be a little funny idea. We're this is end. fake news. Yeah, well, you know, we're going to be... <laughs> you've heard of WikiLeaks. Well, we're going to be sticky leaks. Uh, basically... <laughs> It's not as dirty as it actually sounds. Uh, the premise behind Sticky Leaks is that, you know, I read Reddit quite a lot and I look on, I look for film spoilers. I can't help it. I'm, I'm obsessed with film and I have to like look at every little tidbit of like screening news and stuff like that to find out when the screen is, when they're like the advanced screenings is and that. So I know and all the film news that follows it. And, you know, a lot of the time when you're trolling through Reddit, you'll find a lot of plot leaks to films on there. And a lot of them absolute bs man i'm i'm not kidding you like with end game this the like the fake plot leaks that came out were ridiculous obviously there was one there was one that was like actually there was one that was actually spot on and it that one got leaked in december that pretty much summarized the story so yeah the story actually got leaked pretty much in december on reddit and 4chan and all these sites but because it's one grain of rice in a in a massive glass full of them uh, I was chatting to Johnny and we said, why don't we just do a, a fake movie review based on a synopsis off of Reddit? Because, you know, there's so many. Um, for example, Star Wars. When Star Wars Episode 7 was coming out, there was some ridiculous, like, behind the scenes, like, leaks and stuff. Like, the opening, the, one of them was that the opening to the story was that we would see Luke Skywalker's hand floating down from space, holding his lightsaber still, and that's where it sort of played into the story. And as you, as you know from episode 7, because it's been out a couple of years now, we can probably openly talk about it a little bit, was well, not the case. So, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Do you ever sort of troll about these sort of things, Johnny? Not really. I tend to try and stay away from anything that could possibly spoil anything for me. I, yeah, I kind of get that. I, I, I used to be that young and ambitious, but then old age and bitterness took over, and yeah, I can't help myself these days. But, you know, it's one of these... Um, there's, there's so many, like, fake plot leaks coming out, and, like, Spider-Man Far From Home is the next one that's coming out on the Marvel list, and, uh, yeah. So, what we're going to do over the upcoming weeks is we're going to go back and look at some of the films that have actually come out, and some of the leaks that actually came out. Or, I say this with hyphenated, it's like, yeah, fake news, so yeah, watch out for Sticky Leaks on Thursday night's Game Boy show, uh, coming at you live and loud from 9 p.m. and then we're back every Friday from 10 p.m. rocking out. Uh, Johnny, you know, doing, doing a jam tonight, turning up I'll an hour I'll be there late, from the beginning you know, this he's time. Gonna, he's going to be there from the beginning next week, he promises. We'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll send the cinemas next week. Hey, Johnny. <laughs> 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 but on, on that note, though, I mean, it's, it was one of those when you, I mean, Johnny here, it blesses, blesses cotton socks and everything. He was like, dude, I'm really sorry, but it's, it's a game and I really want to do the show and I feel really bad that I'm going to be leaving you in the lurch. So I'm like, dude, <laughs> it's end game. There's only this and childbirth that, you know, will ever prevent you from doing it. Maybe, maybe death as well. I don't know, but yeah, I, I won't let you die. I'll be resuscitated. Nah, I'll be straight up there death, to resuscitate my you. I'll be, be like, here. you're doing your show, Johnny. Come on. But yeah, um, so yeah, I had to, it's, it's Endgame, we had to allow it, so you know, it's an allowed leave of your show, so yeah, you're allowed to do it, man, it's cool, but yeah, he'll be here live and loud next week on time, you know, it's the last 10 minutes of the show as well, so you've pretty much done your hour already, it's just whiz by as well, can you believe that? Oh, wow. I know, I know, right, we've got a couple more tracks to play here on Smile Radio this evening with the Renegade Rock Hours, the next one is Smile Radio featured that, it's now, we played these guys last night as well, but we play them again because they're so... I love the interactions they have with us. They sort of share our posts all the time and that. So on that note, I'm always gladly... Scratch happy. our back. We'll, we'll scratch, scratch yours. Back. 50 quid's a welcome as well. <laughs> you know, we take all kinds of currency. But, you know, don't feel like you're just giving us the money. You can actually, like, buy a T-shirt. Check our website out at the Game Boys of Smile Radio. Anyway, this is After Alice, and this track is Alive. Desires, man, it burns me up inside. 
Gay that was after Alice and Alive. What a great band. And they're coming straight out of the US as well. We get a lot of submissions across here at Small Radio from all over the world. It was something else that I brought up today when I was talking to Jake's headmaster is like the level of submissions we get and it's the level of PR agents we work with at the moment as well. It's I can't believe it. And it said he'd been running for a year. How ridiculous is that dude? Yeah, you know I mean it's it's just it's just taken off its nah, no. it's been brilliant, hasn't it? Oh it's <laughs> Brilliant. Quality. Brilliant is a strong word. You know, oh, the music, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, but I was on about the ride. I'm talking about the ride to get here. But yeah, hectic, crazy, but fun uh, is all part of it. That's been you know. something. It's been an experience, but yeah. But uh, anyway, we're coming up to that point of the show. We've got five minutes left, and we've got one more song to play for you. Uh, I'm gonna With this one, I'm going to go with a song that, you know, uh, one that you can rock out to into midnight, and uh, one that everybody loves. So we're going to say our goodbyes and I'm going to tell you what the final song is after that so I'm Richie J you can catch me again next Thursday with the Game Boys from 9pm don't forget to drop by our Facebook page check out our new fantabulous swag that you can purchase it's it's groovy you know uh, over to you Johnny I'm Johnny you can catch me on Thursday nights and Friday nights on all and the most nights on Mixer shows. these days <laughs> and all the best moral radio shows here <laughs> and all the best He's been practicing. He has been practicing. You know, he does it better off the cuff anyway. So yeah, anyway, it's the final song of the evening. Um, one that you know, one that you can sing along to. Do you know what it is yet, Johnny? Can you guess what it is? I can't hear it. You can't hear it. Well, I'm gonna play it for you. Now. <laughs> it's because I'm not playing it for you. Yet. I said, can you guess what it is? It's like you know. But anyway, it's a bit of Guns N' Roses, and you know we're a renegade here. So yeah, welcome to the jungle. The party's still only just getting started here at Small Radio. Ooh. Stay tuned for more stuff. Welcome to the jungle! 